All right, welcome back everyone. It's Nohai here. And this video won't be too long, but I did want to make this video talking about something here in Borderlands 3. So if you guys don't know, there is a new event, a little mini event here in Borderlands 3, where they actually added a, uh, they actually added in that you could get legendaries out of vending machines, which was something that has been in every other Borderlands game except this one. So they added in as a little mini event. And I feel like it's the mini events kind of bugged because one, whenever I walk up to a vending machine, most of the time I either see a circle with a line through it that's red, you know, it's going to find there's like nothing there, but there is something there. Or I don't know if any of you guys have got this. I've gotten a picture of the Infinity Pistol from Borderlands 2 instead of actually seeing what's in the vending machine. That's the two things I'm getting. And Every single vending machine is guaranteed to have a legendary. I feel like it's not supposed to be that way either. I feel like there's supposed to be just a higher chance of getting one. And I feel like there's actually supposed to be pictures there. I feel like that's kind of bugged, but they might iron that out here in a few days. But th the thing that I want to happen here is that Gearbox, listen, if, I don't know if anyone at Gearbox will ever see this video, but please leave legendaries in vending machines. Do it, um, just have the ability to be able to get them out of a vending machine because in this game for some reason they didn't make it to where you could get legendaries out of vending machines and it was always cool because it gave you another reason like literally the only reason i walk up to a vending machine now is the ammo vending machine i walk up to it hit the y button to buy all ammo that's it i don't even look into the menu that would actually give me a, another reason to go up to vending machines and check them I always checked vending machines in Borderlands 1 or Borderlands 2 or the pre-sequel because they had a chance of getting, you, you would just go by the check it to see if you got a legendary, especially Borderlands 1. Uh, legendaries were so abundant in Borderlands 1 and you never know when you could get that hellfire from a vending machine or even like an, like an Anarchy which is a purple rarity submachine gun, always looking for those there in Borderlands 1. And you never know when you would find those and you could get them out of vending machines. And for some reason in Borderlands 3, they decided to take out uh, legendaries and vending machines. But in this little event, they added it back in. And I would really like to see Gearbox leave this, uh, leave legendaries and vending machines. Obviously tone down the drop rates because literally every single vending machine at the moment has a legendary in it. And I still feel like that's a bug. It's just supposed to be an increased chance. But uh, tone it down to maybe how they were dropping in like Borderlands 2 or something like that. But still leave them in the game. It was really cool to have uh, legendaries drop from vending machines. And you you know, and every single one you got may not be good because it was random. And they were kind of hard to come by. But it gave me another reason to go by and check every single vending machine I ran into other than just to buy ammo. And it was really cool getting them out there if you got something that you actually were using or like to use. And it was a really good version of it. You'd be, you know, that's pretty cool getting out of the winning machine. It's all random. It'd be in the weapon item of the day. But yeah, that, the, that's basically all I want to talk about here. Is just, uh, I hope you, I imagine you, everyone watching this video agrees with this as well. That they should just leave legendary weapons in vending machines. You know, tone them back the drop rate. But leave it where you can get a chance of getting them from vending machines. I think that's a very cool thing that for some reason they left out here in Borderlands 3. That I'm glad they brought back in the mini event, but I want more of it. I want I want to keep the this in the game. I find it really cool. And it was in every other Borderlands game but this one. So I think they should leave it in the game. But that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.